So this next scene is what I call a breather. It's a nice, fun action scene that's disconnected from the main intrigue. It allows the viewer to cool down before what's coming after. Terry gets to his friend Keanu's place, and the dude's actually just about to go for some off-road fun with a bunch of pals, all right? <laughs> you're not just going to sit and watch, are you? Hmm? Your friend has a buggy ready for you, so you, you get your butt in that thing, and you prepare for the race, okay? If you're good enough to work for Big Joe, you can take on a bunch of old country boys, am I right? This is High Frickin' Ride, scene five. Let's rumble! Action! That's the whole point of this scene. We're taking a short break from the main plot to enjoy a good old low-stakes action moment. It's like that volleyball scene in Top Gun. Well, I remember that one. You're racing your friends, enjoying the countryside and goofing around. I want to feel all of that, as well as Terry's driving skills. So beat these guys and make me proud. You have to watch it. That path is going to be quite the roller coaster with some serious downhill sections and jumps. Speaking of which, race for the jump. Oh, yeah, that's it. Unbelievable. You're a terminal crazy. That scene's going to be another killer. You're cool, director. The scene ain't over. Right, right. The mechanic has a point. Driver, stay in character. These pictures look phenomenal. That vehicle's a beast. Any technical word from our sassy car expert, maybe? We got it. So, driver, as you noticed, we decided to go wild and bold for this scene with the Aerial Nomad buggy. The Nomad will serve two purposes here. First, it should get you through these hills and rivers without too much difficulty. And second, it has that edgy weapon look our director was looking for. Absolutely. I wanted the aesthetics of this scene to be kind of a tribute to those mad, post-apocalyptic movies. Through the hotel, because these guys don't give a damn. Day. It's still rolling. You didn't say cut. 